You want to learn how to install a really simple solar panel setup, pretty inexpensive. You can run some stuff in your cabin or your house or even your apartment. Yeah. All right, here we go. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. This is a solar panel setup I helped a buddy of mine put together probably 10 years ago. Is it 10 years, you think? I don't think it's been 10 years, but whatever. Go it's ahead. pretty bulletproof. We've It's totally DIY, DIY, <laughs> and it works great. Uh, really simple. The most expensive thing is the solar panel and the batteries, but like the wiring and all that, it's low voltage. We did it ourselves. So I want to walk you through it, okay? This is the back of the solar panel. Pretty standard, it has a frame, it has some electronics here, and then it has this cord coming out. And what this cord is, this is a outdoor rated heavy duty extension cord that we bought from the big home improvement store. I'll link to some of them and the solar panel we use in the notes below the video here. Did it used to be yellow? Yeah, it's got a little dirt on it, a little mold and stuff. <laughs> but this is really simple, we picked the part of the yard that had the most sun exposure. You're gonna to have to experiment a little bit and move the panel around. And then we just put in a simple galvanized pole. We built a bracket to hold it on with some pipe, plumbing pipe. And then we just did a really simple trench all the way to the cabin. What are they doing? They're looking for their tennis balls. So this works best in sunlight, but the beauty of this is we have some battery storage in the basement of the cabin which stores up, it takes the solar power from the brightest part of the day and stores the electricity so you can use it at night. You wanna see that? Okay, quick, while she's looking for the ball. So we've gone from our solar panel and we just used a straight edge shovel and we cut a slot in the yard, making sure there's no other power lines around. The call before you dig call is important here. And then we just cut a little trench about three, four inches down, excuse me, Henry. Into the cabin over here. Irony is there's no lights in the basement where the electricity is being stored. This <laughs> is the battery maintainer controller. Fairly inexpensive. Again, I'll link to it in the notes below the video here. Uh, the cable comes in from the solar panel and then there's some batteries right below here. We're using a uh, deep cycle golf cart batteries. You can buy batteries specifically for solar panels. Car batteries won't work because they're not built for what's called deep discharge. Golf cart batteries are. They're not cheap, but they work well. They're right down here. And a Labrador wants us to throw the ball in the basement. In the basement. <laughs> Girls, <laughs> so we've run 12 volt wire up into the cabin. Underneath here, I've got 12 volt fluorescent light bulbs. Ooh, shiny. No utility poles, no nothing, and you've got nice light to do your cooking by. Save energy. Over here in the living room, we've got it set up where you can plug in cell phone chargers, and we also run an AM FM radio all up to 12 volt power, which is really nice. You can get um, car power adapter style uh, receptacles that'll mount in your drywall. I'll link to those below. You can charge your cell phone. You can split off to do multiple things and you can run your radio. <laughs> we can't play too much of that or YouTube gets mad at us. So, but just, you know, if you, even if you're on the grid but you wanna reduce your dependence on the grid, solar panel, some deep cycle batteries, I'll link to more information below about it, but I just want to share with you what's possible with, this, with what are those things called solar panels. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. There should be some stuff floating here to click on to watch more Garden Fork videos. More information about this is below, but I love to hear from you. I learned from you. Had you have a solar panel set up? You want more answers? Um, what's that? <laughs> I'll try and answer your questions. You want more ants. <laughs> and I'm losing my voice. I'll see you later.